Hi there and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and joining us on this episode. Well, as you can see on the table, we've got some more Tamiya Grasshoppers. Uh, put just not any old Tamiya Grasshopper. Uh, I'm going to be explaining a little bit more about this one very shortly. But I thought while I've got this one out, I thought I'd show you this. Now this featured in another video that I did a few episodes back about a lot of projects that are going to be going on in the background. Well, I've sort of loosely started this one now and I managed to pick up a uh, set of very cool Palmer alloy uh, Nerf bars. So these are vintage uh, period hop-ups you can put on your grasshopper or hornet. And these are the uh, Palmer alloy Nerf bars. So uh, I fitted these on. Now the idea with this project is that all the parts that I fit to it, optional extras or alternative parts, I wanted to fit in uh, fit that were from that um, sort of 80s uh, period in time. So we've started doing that now. Now as I said it's probably going to be a slow burner this one because um, well you, you're not just going to have heaps of these parts turning up. So um, anyway that started there so I just thought I'd show you that. Hopefully um, I've got some other bits and pieces coming soon for it. We'll see but I just thought I'd show you that. But the main focus today is uh, this here. Now the wheels are going to roll. The wheels aren't, I haven't got the tracking track rods, um, steering rods on yet. So they are, and there's no servo or anything, so they are just flopping around a bit. But what we've got here is uh, really quite a special grasshopper. Now this is a, uh, it started life as a re-release kit. Uh, so a grasshopper re-release kit. And uh, this was bought by, I think originally a chap in, uh, in Europe had this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of his name, to be honest, because it, it didn't come from him. Um, but he, he was on there. He was a Tamiya Club member. So lots of, loads of people are out there are on Tamiya Club. Anyway, he was a Tamiya Club member. I think his profile name was Loaded. Um, and he had a friend, as I believe it, that he would, uh, that worked in the sort of chrome plating, sort of uh, automotive parts. So from uh, now and again, or from time to time, he'd, he'd ask his mate to um, sort of chrome some parts up and see what it'd be like. Um, so one of the things he did do was completely chrome plate a Tamiya Grasshopper. Now, obviously, this is the re-release kit. It's not been done from a vintage kit, but it is super cool. And I got this off a chap called Dean. And uh, he was uh, looking to uh, move some stuff on because um, he's got a project. And um, and uh, look, uh, luckily for me, anyway, uh, he's decided to let this one uh, go. So I'm really pleased to have it because, well, to be honest, uh, now there are obviously special editions of the Grasshopper. Um, but to my knowledge, there's never been one that's fully chrome plated. Now... I'm going to, I'm just sort of stick my neck out and go, maybe that's the only one uh, in existence. But you can guarantee somewhere on this uh, vast earth that someone might have had the same idea and it's just not, it's just not seen the light of day. But I'm fairly confident this is probably the only one, or at least there's very few of these out there. Um, now, as I said, these were uh, one-offs and they only went sort of through the... Uh, uh, small numbers went through the plating, um, chrome plating process. Um, there are a few little imperfections here and there, so but it's not because they're not they don't like what Tammy do where they can mass it, uh, do on mass chrome plating as they've done it themselves on various kits and parts in the past. So they were done on drips and drabs or one offs, and they're only you know small plastic trees that are being. Um, coated i mean this came to me as a complete kit it wasn't built i've built this up um because i think it needs to be seen as a, a full working uh, model so so far as you can see here it's built and i will get this running because uh, i'd like to see it pottering around outside 
Uh, now, I'm not going to uh, go crazy with it because I'd be absolutely livid <laughs> if um, I took some of the chrome plating off. So I will be very careful when I do run this. It will be like on the softest um, grass you can find. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I do want to show you running, which will come up in a video soon. And after that, it's going on display. Um, it's still going to be owned by me, but um, it's going to be on display at Inside Line Models. Uh, they're going to put it in their uh, hobby store and they're going to have it in display there, which I think would be great because uh, loads of people will uh, get a chance to see it, which is awesome. Uh, so that's happening down the line. Um, and also, I believe it's going to be displayed at the Charged RC uh, Festival, in, uh, which is happening in Blackpool in October. So all these links I will put into the video description as well. Um, so yeah, so on this, there was a couple of parts like the, the bumper and the nerve bars, which tend to be quite flexible compared to some of the other plastics. Now, if you, if you bend them, I think, you know, not on purpose, but if you accidentally bend them, I think the, the chrome finish will start to sort of chip slightly. So I need to be really careful with that. In fact, I am thinking of taking the chrome bumper back off and just putting an alloy bumper on the front. Uh, and then for it's a bit more, you know, less likely to bend and crack. So, but the rest of it's fine. As I said, minor imperfections, but on the whole, um, I hope you'll agree with me, it's a stunning looking thing. It's, uh, it's very cool. Uh, what I will do is, well, towards the end, I'll get the camera over this and you can uh, have a bit of a closer look at it as well. Now, in the kit, there is a fully chrome driver figure. I'm not sure I'll use that. And also there is uh, the Mark One style um, grasshopper wheels as well. They're still on the sprues. They're all chromed up. Um, but I've decided that uh, because the, the guy I got this off had done some decals for it, which you can see on here, which I'll show you. It's in a, it's monochromatic sort of, um, sort of like colours. So, which is probably what I would have done as well, funny enough. But, um, so I thought what would be really cool is rather than the chrome wheels, I thought that if I could get a pair, and I, I will still look for some, but they're really hard to come across now. If I can find some of the black uh, Hornet wheels, Grasshopper Hornet wheels, then that's what I'd like to put on this. Um, but for now, as a second option, I've got the very dark grey, sort of almost charcoal coloured um, Grasshopper 2 tyres from the Black Edition kit. Sorry, wheels, Black Edition uh, wheels from the Grasshopper 2 kit. And it's got Grasshopper 2 tyres on. And to be honest, I think it looks pretty cool. But ideally, if I can, eventually, I want to put the Black Hornet wheels on. Uh, that's the plan anyway. But this will do for now. Um, I think it really looks really cool. I hope you agree. Now, I will pick it up, but uh, you just have to ignore the floppy wheels until I finish it off. So, I need to get some electrics in here. Um, and as I said, get the uh, servo mounts in and the driving figure and the tie rods. Um, also, as well, um, what was I going to say then? Yes, also the steering knuckles as well. They were the, the white plastic ones you get in the kit. Now, if I can hold it up, you can probably might just about see them. But what I did is I put the carbon reinforced black ones on off the, the option part for the F103 cars. And I think that ties in much nicer uh, than the, 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 uh, the white ones in the kit. So I've, I've done that as well. So yeah, so that really leaves it here now. The next time you see this, it should be a functioning buggy, uh, which will be uh, rather cool. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this one. And uh, I mean, if you know of any other uh chromed up grass grasshoppers then do let me know i know um tammy themselves brought out some they did a metallic green uh sort of a chrome uh green uh body shell they've done their uh, ones for the hot shot the avante so tammy have done special chrome parts before even did a blitzer beetle with a chromed um bug body shell so they have done things like this before but they've never fully chromed a grasshopper or so I, I think that's pretty cool and quite a, a special uh, little kit. So, yeah, let me know what you think of it. It'd be great to hear your comments or read your comments, I should say. Uh, right, so I'm going to get the camera over. You can have a little bit of a closer look on this. 
and then we'll wrap this one up for you. Now, fingers crossed, I usually do, I won't knock my lights everywhere. <laughs> Like that. I'm just trying not to knock everything and uh, there you go now really you do need to see this um in the flesh to really sort of appreciate it camera doesn't seem to do it justice but I think that looks pretty wicked I hope you agree too yeah. but yeah I, I proper love that all there is I'll just uh whack the uh, body shell off and then you can see uh, it there as well. Yeah, cool, isn't it? How cool is that? <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. I love the gearbox as well. <laughs> it's wicked. Cool. So, um, as I said, you know, we'll have this one back out soon. Many thanks uh, to Dean, who I managed to get this off. I'm really, really pleased with it as well. So if you're watching this, Dean, thank you very much. But yeah, there it is. How cool is that? Right, we're going to leave this one here for now. Hope uh, you'll check out uh, the next upcoming content. If you haven't already and you'd like to uh, join us on the channel, please consider subscribing to Andy Robinson RC on YouTube. And also you can find us on Facebook and Instagram under Andy Robinson RC. As I said, next time you see this one, it should be up and running. And all the links I will put in the uh, video description. Right, I'm going. I'll see you all soon. Look after yourselves and take care. And uh, bye for now. See ya.